In today's video, we are going to take a look at Cyanogen OS 13 on U Euphoria finally. So the U Televentures just received uh, like got an OTA update for the U Euphoria, and you now have the Marshmallow update for your Cyanogen OS. I'm just kidding. It's just a port from the Willy Fox Swift, which also has a pretty similar hardware like U Euphoria. So the developers have had ported that ROM to this device and works just fine. Besides, we don't have a camera and a file manager, but the file manager has a workaround. You can just download any other thing like root browser or Z archiver, but you don't get the camera, which is a down point. It may take uh, a week or so for the developers to port up, but let me show you how to install first. Go to the recovery power of your device, just like that. Hold on your power and volume down. Go to wipe, advanced wipe. Dalvi catch system data cache no need of internal storage or the micro SD card sorry for the brightness and swipe to wipe I will not do that because I have already installed the ROM and it would take very much long time so I can't show you go to the install search for your ROM and just do that this ROM come uh, like with a GFs because it's a final build of Cyanogen OS 13 here it is 13.1.2 add more zips go back Go to where you have downloaded the Kiski kernel. This is needed in order to boot the ROM successfully. Just select that and swipe to flash. That's pretty much it. You will uh, get many other videos how to install to a 3.0 on this device. But pretty nice actually. Uh, Willy Fox. <laughs> Funny name actually. And this is mod ready. I don't know what. Which usually means with the mod ready i fiddle around the settings and i have not found many like besides the cyanogen os tweaks there's nothing mod ready it's not pre-rooted rom it's still booting and there we are not okay so not bad actually only took a uh, one minute to 50 seconds i guess and there you have it your stock cyanogen os here is here are your apps here is the phone dialer now you don't have the true color embedded in this you just you will get it. I will leave a link in the description. Messaging, browser, everything from the Cyanogen Mode 13. Let me just decrease the brightness. It just works. I don't have a Wi-Fi connection right now. Audio FX is there. It's just like a final build. But if you don't have on Euphoria, I don't know why the U does it. Okay, there is a true color. Something just pops up randomly. Okay, so I need a Wi-Fi in order to install that. Calendar. This pretty much gives me like a Sony vibe. Sony has this pretty much similar calendar app with this like intro. It is awkward. Gallery works. There is a new style of moments over here. Then you can just go to the albums. Pretty much verify. Gmail, Hangouts, Keep, Menu. Such a bloatware actually. Phone, settings, screencast, themes. We will just go to the settings and check out what's new. Go to display and light. Adaptive brightness works. Brightness level, live display. Works totally just fine. I like to keep it a bit yellow. It doesn't harm your eyes that much. So, double tap to sleep works. No. One, two. ICD density, which is good. Which is introduced in No Good actually. Which is a much diverse option here is just a mod maybe this just seem like a mod ready thing but it was actually available in cyanogen os 12.1 so i don't really don't know what's like meant by mod ready because there is nothing like a uh, specific tab for that september security patch quite good it's a marshmallow let's enable the developer options here is your marshmallow 6.0.1 and that's pretty much it so guys this was my review for the Cyanogen OS 13 on U Euphoria. I will do a video if the U Televengers ever release an official ROM. But let's just take a look at themes over here. I didn't like the new theme center at all. It just pretty much diversed in. Let's just enable this one with the Valley Fox one. Takes a bit time actually. There it is. Let's just fiddle it around. I really don't know about what these Chinese phones are. They run Cyanogen OS, apply some custom things. It the life is now just very easy right now for them. Nothing like Samsung or LG where they have to just change the whole UI to make them stand 
different but the willy fox theme is also very nice actually compared to the u the colors are the same uh, only the wallpaper and the icon signs we changed let's just go again this is the willy fox one looks sony sony ish the xperia has the same white black orange texture over here it is another u1 but this is the euphoria one pretty much the same but this one is actually the new one i guess from the utopia or the unicorn let's just check it out because they have a bit of a different color scheme yep this is from the new devices and also pretty much a weird thing about these themes is they run very smoother than the stock android they just scale down everything and makes just easier for the slow u devices to run perfectly i like the nav bar because uh, this stands up perfectly for this device because you euphoria there's it very nice actually very cool touch so guys thanks for watching peace